Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can evaluate integral and derivative using the Canon F789S GA calculator. This calculator can only evaluate, which means it can give you a value, a number. It will not uh, solve the integral and give you, it can only evaluate the definite integral with the values. So you will get a number also in derivative, also you will get a number. So let's get started by evaluating this integral of sine x dx from pi over 2 to 2. As you can see here, the, when you evaluate the integral, you are getting actually area under the curve. So we want to get from pi over 2 from here to pi. And we want to find that area. So uh, the calculator must be in normal mode. Press mode and then 1. So that's in normal. This angle is determining factor of your value. Now this one is in degree, but as you can see, my angle is in radian. So let's change that. Press shift setup and then 4 radian. Now you will see R. Then press this integral sign and then I'm pressing sign to enter X. Press alpha, alpha X because the color is blue. All these blue will be activated with alpha. So close the parenthesis with the arrow, go to the right. When you go to the right, it comes to the lower. So we can say shift pi. So pi is our exponent here. Pi divided by 2. You can do it that way or maybe use fraction. So with the arrow, go to the right and then put shift pi. Once everything is completed, press equal. As you can see, it cal calculated the area to be 1. So this way you can make more complex uh, equation, but you might face in some equations that this may, may not be able to solve it. So now for the derivatives, let's say we have an equation here that um, this is the position of, a, of an object and you want to find the velocity at 2 seconds, the 3 and 4 seconds. So when you take the derivative of a function, it will be the velocity. So now this is f prime. So these are the derivative. So we want to evaluate the derivative at 2 seconds, at 3 and 4 seconds. So which means we will take the derivative and plug in the value. So the calculator will do that all at once for us. So press shift and then this is the derivative. Now enter our function, 2x squared minus 5x, so 2, and then alpha x squared minus 5, and then alpha x plus 3, and then with the arrow go to the right. Now we are doing the first one, 2. So it means take the derivative and evaluate it with x equal 2. So this is 3. Now to do Again, with another value, just press left arrow, go there, change it to 3, and evaluate it. So we got 7, go back, and 4, so we got another value. This way you can evaluate. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please thumb up, and also please subscribe.